3.25 p.m. Central Time. And my brother, the Ravens, headed to the Steelers. Steelers are four-and-a-half-point underdogs at home. Total of 44 on this one. Uh, Baltimore 4-0-1 oh, against the spread of their last five at Pittsburgh. However, Pittsburgh 6 and three straight up in their last nine against the Ravens. This is always a tight ball game. Typically, if this thing is over a field goal, I go with the dog. I ain't doing that this go-round. There are too many injuries for the Steelers. You look at the numbers on it, and and no, there's not a giant discrepancy between the two, but I just, T.J. Watt, of course, now on the, the COVID-19 list, et cetera, I, I just don't see how Pittsburgh gets this thing back rolling right now. Uh, especially not against this Ravens team that is at the top of the division, at the top of the conference at this point. I'm I'm going to take Lamar and that running attack for the Ravens, and I think that defense is going to be able to slow down Big Ben. They're going to get after him. The offensive line is still weak for the Steelers, and you don't want that going up against a Ravens team that really knows how uh, how to get a pass rush going. So I will uh, I will take the Ravens minus four and a half. Yeah, I, I'm going Ravens too. I don't think you have to be special at all to uh, to make this Steelers offense look terrible. And this Ravens defense Sunday night took that thing up a notch. They they caused a lot of those problems with the Browns. The Browns kind of made themselves look stupid a lot, but but the Ravens kind of made some of that stuff happen. This was one of the best running teams in the country, and the Ravens just completely shut that down. I think they're going to shut down Najee. You shut down Najee, you stop this offense because Ben is basically just a standing telephone pole. He can't move. <laughs> he can barely throw. Every throw is going to be six yards in front of him on a quick slant. It might be accurate. It might not. Uh, about 30% of them are going to be catchable from the defense if you just go for the ball. I, I, I just don't see a way the Steelers can hang in this game. Hey, yeah, I, I'm with you. Normally, it's a field goal game. This ain't a normal year. The the Steelers have done a very bad job preparing for life after death. I know you are 100% right about that. They have not built that roster in a way that can be successful uh, in the NFL. You were talking about the Ravens shutting down the Browns' running game. Kareem Hunt, seven carries for 20 yards. That's 2.9 a clip. Nick Chubb, eight for 16. That's 2.0 uh, per rush. Overall, the Browns were 17 carries for 40 yards. That's 2.4 per attempt. That ain't good. And there is no reason to believe that the Steelers will be any better. Without any threat of a run, I don't see any way that the Steelers stay in this ball game. So, yeah, both uh, both riding Ravens on that one. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.